Hello everybody, welcome back to all. We can play as Curry Mestek. In the last episode, we finished a couple stages and finished our... What's it called? Welcome all. We pushed, we whacked them all, and we played around with mushrooms and jungle candy. In this episode, we're going to continue on and look at some trees. And you don't finish, like, finish the first world and play more of the next minute game. Ah! Kirby is so happy. The only thing that can also just be happier than Kirby might just be Yoshi. So what's this? Oh, it's a tree. They're pissed. Oh, no. Whee! Damn you, Wispy Forest. Get it. Thankfully not too hard, just kinda gotta get rid of the spiders. Although they will try to negate your progress as it seems. I don't remember the stage being that difficult. It's kinda just like, oh, defeat thing, then move on. Look at the trees, what are they gonna do? Chase us down? Nah, they could never do that. Too early. There we go. Uh, bottom right, I think? Yeah, I remembered. Oh, it was a pick a door thing. Fair enough, makes sense. That's a tree inside a tree. I don't I don't like this concept. That's very scary. And has makes me want to ask too many questions. Oh, that one's got a nose. Pissed. Really wish I could get more of you guys up here. Thank you. Come on. See, there's a warp out. Now that's just disgusting. Well, yeah, you fuck. And there we go. We got it. Ouch. Oh no, it's this stage, man. Um, fuck. I want to play an auto scroller. I think they give. Thankfully, they give us some things to do on this auto scrolling adventure, which is always nice. I, I can't with the delayed audio on my end. It feels so wrong and gross. Ugh. Thankfully, we already got the rainbow, and I can now see why they offer you that warp so early. Glad I cut this level up. Not cut it up, but just made it a separate thing. I really don't want to fall into the water. That would not be a good time. Get them! Who knows, maybe the audio is just as delayed and destroyed as I think, but eh, I don't know. Gotta wait and see. I won't know, unfortunately, we freaking got it, Mr. Hello! Hello, friend, death. Fall that way. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Run forward, Cubby's adventure! I am such a fucking moron. Ugh. Oh my gosh, the audio was that delayed on my end? Holy shit! I think it gets worse. But I'm not really sure because I don't know. I mean, I guess I could also just. For my s ow sake, we could just plug into the gamepad and just use that audio for myself. I 
And now we follow. Because I saw some stone blocks over there. Oh. Wait, I was supposed to be under the thing, probably. Ah, fuck. Eh, whatever. Let's keep moving. Alright, some of these got mushrooms on their head, and others got spikes. So spikes are a little more relevant than the mushrooms. Let's gather up and move out. Keep on running, Kirby! Ooh, that's cute. Sling tells me we gotta get ahead of this thing. Oh, I see what we're doing. That's cool. Just gotta clump up and get going. Ooh, it's got a skull key! Let's go, we can defeat more Skullies. We can also gather everyone up easily. More Skullies! Also be extra careful to protect the one with the key, because if you get they lose the one with the key, you lose out. I think you just get sent out. Thankfully, like I said, the Scullies aren't too hard. Which makes it very crazy that their lead in Acrodeus is the, probably one of the closest Kirby villains to actually killing Kirby. Which was, can I talk about that name? Necrodius? Lord of Death? Like, that's... Or Death God, one of the two? Like, that's just crazy. Kirby games are weird. Hey, it's a secret path. Okay, this feels so much better now that the audio isn't, like, destroyed on my, like, coming out, like, a minute later. Oh, good for you! It's like, I can handle audio delay, but that is a lot more audio delay than I want to deal with. Get the beanie. I keep wanting to call them bean bonds. I don't. Oh no, they are bean bonds. That's the actual name, yeah. So there's a door over there we can deal with, which would be very helpful. Oh, fuck! Well, they're dead. Wait, I got them. They're still alive. Gaming. Now we must wait very slowly. Gonna throw the Kirby's while we wait. And let us continue. Look this way. <gasps> A metal! Mine! That we got all. We actually did pretty much the entire level, except got KO'd Kirby's. That's cringe, but whatever. <laughs> go to the right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Uh. Ah, fair enough. Hello, friend. Fuck. Save him. I believe these trees hate Kirby so damn much. <laughs> get to the right and go, boys. Let's get out of here. That was actually quite a long stage. It was like nine minutes. That's a lot longer than usual. And we got scanners! Or rainbow drops. We got fluidity spin cycle. 
because random words are always the best thing to say, because it clearly makes the most sense. <sighs> yeah, I got two hours to record things. Yeah, two hours, because I'm going to take a shower. Mm, that, our boss is unlocked. Before we continue, let's see if Dorocha has any bits of lore and tidbits. That's why I'm also checking Dorocha a lot, because it'll give, like, lore tidbits as well as you check him. A time for more advice? I'm always glad to share info. Caught wind of a special metal that shines like a rainbow. Metals must be full of rainbow power, I guess. No doubt, no doubt something special will happen if you collect enough rainbow metals. What can I do for you? Yep. I think there should be more hints. Nope, I don't want the same hint. Fuck you. Jim McKinney has a serious sound that way you're huge, you can't get up some place that you can while smaller. When you're on a jumbo rampage, you might just kick a treasure chest away. Wait, be careful with that jumbo candy or you'll miss out on a metal. Thank you. I like the squeaks on the bottom. See you later. Alright, stage 10. Let's go. Bye out. <sighs> Are you? Oh, yeah, but the swimming mechanics, finally. Woo. After being in the water long enough, you'll get the steel with the air meter. Now, the air meter works a little weird, I'll, I'll admit, because, like, it matters how many Kirby's you have. Like, the more Kirby's you have, the more air meter you have, but, like, they're still individual in units, technically, so, like, why. Why does it work like that? I don't understand. There. Thankfully, I don't remember the swimming being that bad. I don't remember being part of the game, but I don't remember it being, like, the worst thing in the world. But now we get flushed. I love their faces. Thankfully, they can fight the current a bit, depending on the strength of the current. Let's get killed by a squid. Keep on moving. Fortunately, not a huge fan of swimming levels, but it could be worse. That's always adorable. I don't know if there's actually a reason to keep that fish around, but ooh, I know what this is. Let's go. Wonder what the shape is. It's a magnifying glass, right? We're gonna zoom in on our Kirby's and get every single little detail of Kirby, which is a very terrifying concept. Now, what it actually is... is our only power-up, I believe. Jumbo candy! Rainbow metal, we're good. Matters. Okay, I was about to say, did we remove the door? Thankfully it comes back. And I think we should be dealing with... Oh, I see what we gotta do here. Simple stuff. E talk about easy money. Now, how is this falling to... I guess gravity still would affect in the or in water. Listen, I might be stupid. I'm just used to being able to swim. But, I guess, you throw a rock in a pool, it falls down. So, it, 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 it checks out. I'm just stupid. Listen, public education hasn't failed me yet, but dang it, it's trying to. We've really got everything we're here for, because we got the medal, which is all I super care about. I guess try for other medals if we see them. Oh, yeah. oh, this is bait. I remember this. This room is bait specifically. They want you to grab all the fruit. Without getting hit. Because we actually get to deal with Gordos and something other than the fucking. What minigame is it? 
the whack-a-mole minigame. Gordos are essentially like in invincible little like hazards that are in like every Kirby game. It's like, oh, we need to put a hazard here! You little fucking rat mother best piece of fuck. Rat mother piece of fuck. Oh, I'm the best. Oh, we actually have to flick into him to do damage. Oh, he's getting pissed. No, he's multiplying. Kill them all! Yeah, it's a little hard to keep everyone alive. I'll admit, but it could be worse. Although, we, unfortunately, that means we don't get the Poyo every time we enter a door. Which is lame. It was cringe. I don't know why it's always so funny saying cringe like that. Just, just, Kirby Whip. It's a Kappa. I'm gonna kill it. Sorry, Kirby's. Fortunately, there is no other way of like healing the Kirby's other than that little ring. No, you die. If you already got hit and you're not going for the best rank, it's pretty. You just kind of. Yeah, I think you can just kind of bum rush him because you can like immediately grab the Kirby that dies. But if you're going for like a good gold rank, it, you can't do that. You gotta actually play it. But that boss is a little weird to do that with. What are you. Uh, metal. If we had a key, we don't have a key. Fine. Well, get this door open. Ah! Ah! Run forward, boys. Let's get out of here. No Kirby's are lost. Fair enough. Alright, let's visit Dorochi and do our minigame now, then we'll do our boss, and that will be a nice way to end the episode. Return for more advice, I'm always glad to share info. Metals are often found inside treasure chests. You open a chest, you need a key, but... But know this, if you drop a key, it will vanish. But no fear, just exit and re-enter the stage, the key will be back where you found it. What can I do for you? Eh, nothing really for now, thank you though, Dorochi. Alright, let's play our minigame. So what do we got, can we brawl ball next? So, how do we play this? Cool, we actually can use like the Eleanor. Oh no, I don't have the. Oh no, my gamepad is not set up for this very well. Uh. Guess I'm just gonna play on the capture unit. That'll work. I can actually play this because I. Wait, pause. I wanna get this. Because I don't get the same view you all do, my gamepad has to be like held vertically is how it looks, so I'm just kind of going to play this vertically, because we actually have one of the longer mini games here, which is okay, it's going to be a bit of a longer episode probably, cause mix, which will make up for last episode's shorter video, because I remember Brawl Ball is one of the longer mini games. because I'll say this, Hal can actually make a really good pinball game, I, although I'm not a huge like pinball guy, I'll admit. A lot of the Kirby Pinball games like are really good because they actually have like shit you do in them. Unlike Mario Pinball Land, which is kinda bad. So I can't really give any hot pinball tips because I've never been a big pinball guy, like I said, but eh. I'll take free pinball, hell yeah, free points! Well, stage cleared! So we gotta find a way to get King D up again. Oh no, we lost our 
our free ball return, which is concerning. Oh, I love that every time you do that, tack will do a thing. Yes, I'll try again. Playing mouse stack for a little bit. I'll, I'll try this again later off camera and get some footage of the other things, but for now, let's move on to a boss fight. And if you played Kirby games, you know who this boss is. Oh, hell yeah, that slow jam. Meet our first boss, Wispy Woods! We already got hit. I think this one might be actually one of the, like, the better incarnations of the Wispy that can fight back, because again, Kirby's actually like super technically weak in this game. This might be the best Wispy actually gets to fight back. Which is kind of a neat idea. Now because Kirby got weakened so much, Wispy actually poses a fucking threat. At least a little bit, I can't say a major threat. Wispy can technically still only really defend himself, not really do any the combat much. I love this fucking ball thing, because it's the King Dedede theme! Oh my gosh, I just realized that. I think it is. I might be wrong, it might not be the King Dedede theme. I think it is. Oh! But thankfully, even with Wispy being a lot better, he still isn't much of a fight. What the hell is this? What dark magic, voodoo magic is this? Level 2 is available. And we got a Kirby win- <laughs> I love the Warp Stars having trouble flying with all these Kirbys on it. <laughs> Page clear, no KO Kirbys. Fantastic. The Kirbys flew toward another island on the Warp Star. The Warp Star was wobbly with so many Kirbys riding it. Suddenly the Scullies appeared behind the Warp Star. They were from Necrotius Skull Gang. Necrotius is Skull Gang. And they were patrolling the islands. The Scullies chased out the Kirby's and pulled them off the warp star until there was only one left. Kirby flew toward the next island as fast as he could, leaving the Scullies behind. The Skull Gang was still on patrol, so Kirby was sure he'd cross paths with them again soon enough. So yes, every time you go to a new world, you get put down to one singular Kirby. So you essentially have to start over from scratch each world. Roach has something to tell us. Jumping to another island is dangerous when it's patrolled by Scullies. Keep that in mind before you decide to go into any island crawling with those dark fiends. Bleed more of the checkers and looks like Doroch has something to say. Let's go visit Doroch. Back for more insights I see. Here's one for you. There are doors hidden in many stages that are shortcuts to the goal, but you can't use the shortcut unless you clear the stage once. So those shortcuts will save you a lot of time if you want to get from a stage you in one out fast. What can I do for you? Nothing right now. Thank you, though. And as with that, let's check our checklist and end for today. Hey, we got our first state, our first, like, thing cleared. Oh man, we got a lot of checklist stuff done. Ten toes, we'll eat jumbo candy and see our stage cool. Make a skull he opened the skull chest without being picked up, then clear the stage. Got it. Ten Kirby's, then clear the stage, and then jumbo newbie. Eat a jumbo candy for the first time, then clear the stage. Bean Bon Basher. Fifteen more bean bonds throughout the game, and then clear the stage after the fiftieth defeat. Ten Kirby has to clear stage eight for ten Kirby's without using a shark. Cool. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of Kirby Mass Attack.